My new shit go like this, man. I got this new chorus. It go like, calling up niggas when I'm drunk. Calling up niggas when I'm drunk. Calling up niggas when I'm drunk. I'm on some drunk shit. Drunk. Calling up niggas when I'm drunk. Calling up niggas when I'm drunk. Calling up niggas when I'm drunk. I'm on some drunk shit. Drunk. Drunk. Man, I'm drunk right now, though, for real. This is the fucking feds police or something? Nah, man, this is the white cocaine white-ass vehicle. Hold up. Hold up, let me pull out the strap, though. Let me shit on standby. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is a luxury, uh, this is a luxury fucking transpo thing going on here. It's your boy, Once a Grove, always GOE. Thanks for tuning in to Cast of 495 Celebrities Worldwide, C4CW. If you're a fan of this show and you support the show, man, I, we, 495, support you. Yo, man. So I was having this conversation friend of mine, Korean, I'm saying female, and we was talking about Beyonce Knowles versus Park Bohm, fucking let's have a discussion about this shit, man, I got my fucking Airwalks gear on and shit, black on, oh shit, these niggas, this shit just got real as fuck, hold up, let me pull out my fucking flame fl- throw. I said flame, hold up, oh wow, this is weird shit, it's just getting weird. Weirder than I thought it was going to get. It's getting even weirder. It sounds like some hobo bottles being tossed around and shit. Not even embellishing, dude. Like, I literally heard, like, some warriors, like, Warriors, come out and play. Warriors. What the fuck, man? This nigga in the bushes with some bottles and shit. Come on, nigga. Hold up. So, hold up. Hold up. My dad was in the Vietnam War. It was weird. My dad, dude, was a philanderer. I used to live in Chicago. I got niggas on all kinds of different sides of shit. I'm a gangster. Not really, but kind of. I mean, I used to be. Listen, I guess I kind of am still. I don't want to commit crime, but when I see my own government, dude, I'm like, fuck. I'm back in. You know, if they're doing it, <laughs> and they're the U.S. federal government, something fishy, maybe I should be doing what they do. <laughs> Just being honest. You know, everything's in flux. The universe, thought, human consciousness, human stream of consciousness. One moment, you'd be like, yo, I'm like a choir boy. Like, I'm squeaky clean. Like, <laughs> I'm going to do everything by the book. Like, if it says 55 miles an hour, I'm going to do 55 exactly to a laser T. And then you'd be like, hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Motherfuckers ain't doing that shit. Like, I'm trying to go the speed limit. Like, because I'm legit, dude. And then you realize that 99% of niggas ain't doing that shit. And if you fucking do the limit, you know what I'm saying? Then they'd be like, honk, honk, beep, beep, fuck you, get out of the way, sucker. And you'd be like, damn, I'm just trying to be law-abiding. And they're like, we don't wanna. And you're like, wow. I mean, dude, if you look at espionage, like, don't even get me started on fucking espionage, dude. I've been involved in that shit. Like... This is for entertainment purposes only, but espionage is crazy, dude. (laughs) I mean, fuck, dude. You know why I got involved in espionage? Because gang shit is espionage, dude. And when I was a kid, I learned that shit. I was like, wait, hold up. Hold up. You got these elites, these power players, right? These chessboard players, man. These echelon-ass niggas at NATO. NATO's NATO's alien, dude, just to let you guys know. Like, you know, grays and tall whites, they be tripping. They're like, Grove knows some shit. Like, let's just listen to what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because I figured it out. Not everything. I mean, there's so much. Like, who knows everything? Nobody. I mean, maybe somebody, but I don't. But I do know that NATO is a fucking, it's a, it's not, it's not, it's, you know, see, the Russians, man, they got a problem with NATO. I don't really fucking disagree with that because I have Russian friends, too. And when I roll with my Russian fucking friends, dude, I got to think in Russian like the Russians do. I mean, that's just how you fucking roll, dude. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. 
When you look at history, dude, the Russian Empire, people are fucking funny, dude. They say stupid shit like professors at universities. Some of them are off their fucking rockers, dude. They're off the chain. They be saying weird shit like the fall of the Russian or I'm sorry, the fall of America. (laughs) No, I'm joking. The fall of the Roman Empire. Like when Rome fell. Rome never really fell, dude. Did you know that? Are you listening? Are you a listener? I'm smoking a blunt again. Rome never really fucking fell, dude. It never fell. Do you want proof of that? You can go there and see it. And it's an administrative district of Italy, the country. It's still there, dog. But of course, history books teach that the fall of the Roman Empire. And then you have to, dude, my cousin, dude, listen. (laughs) The world's funny, man. Like, I feel bad for people who are severely impoverished, dude. My mother is like very socialist, dude. Very. She's like Princess Diana. She's very socialist. I come from a matriarchy, too. By the way, a lot of women in my family, four aunts, you know what I'm saying? My mother and her three sisters and my grandmother and her sisters, my great aunts. My grandparents never had any uh, boys. I have a cousin, dude, who's like a technical wizard, dude. He he inherited, like I inherited my grandmother's, I mean, by right of passage, like the wood shop, metal shop that my grandmother, grandmother and grandfather had. Um, was, uh, theirs and my cousins and I, my male cousins, uh, and my sister, it's all our shit, dude. Like that's our grandfather and our grand, our grandfathers and our grandmother's stuff. But we had a cousin who was well-versed in shit, dude. He's an inventor, dude. And he's fucking dope, dude. In terms of like, he's kind of like that guy that was inventing like engines that run off water and shit. So that's the type of shit that I come from. Because my grandfather was a fucking G, dude. I have photos of him that I'm about to post on the internet, dude, where he's got his fucking, he has his chapeau, dude, rocking to the right. He's an Englishman, dude, and I talk about him a lot, and I honor him. That's why I talk about him and my grand, my grandmother. <clears throat> dude, he went to World War II, fought fascist, man. White, Anglo-Saxon, Caucasian man, Englishman, you know. He's from, his family he was of English heritage. Half my family was for America during the American Revolution. The other half, they're uh, daughters of the American Constitution, um, DAC, DAC. You know what I'm saying? Daughters of the American Revolution is what I meant, dar, whatever it is. <clears throat> the point is is that they were like, you know, it's split down the middle. But the point is, dude, is when you look at how these like people fought each other, the white Caucasians, which is half my family, when you look at how they were doing shit, dude, when you look at how they were fucking running shit, dude, during the old world order, um, man, fucking, um, like back in the day, dude, when you went to war, like World War One and Two, that was heavy fucking duty type shit. It really was. So, <clears throat> you know, man, dude, we were never fucking poor, man, and like, you know. Having, like, a little, like, during times of, like, crisis, like, when my grandmother was, like, uh, born around the time of the Great Depression, that's some serious shit. She wouldn't buy, like, one box of macaroni. She'd buy, like, 30 and put it in, like, a storage facility, dude. And she used to vacuum seal food, can her own food. I had a cousin, dude, like, uh, one of those, like, extended, like, cousin relatives who... He kept, like, his entire life savings. I mean, he's deceased now, but, dude, he didn't trust banks after the Great Depression, so he carried his entire life savings, which was, like, a few thousand dollars rolled up in, like, a knot that he'd carry on, like, a rope around his neck and, like, behind his, like, <clears throat> lapel. You know what I'm saying? Because he never trusted banks, dude. And it's like no one ever snatched up his shit. I mean, he's deceased, dude. This is fucking generations ago, dude, decades, like, a 100 fucking years ago. I mean, it wasn't that long, but I'm saying, like, he never trusted banks, so the little money that he had, dude, his life savings back when like $100 was like a zillion dollars, 
he had all of his like C notes, dude, his Benjamins, dude, whatever they were back then in the old days when shit was black and white. He had that shit, dude, around his neck because he didn't trust banks. And I don't blame him because the cro- this fucking the stock market crashed. So my family was never poor, poor. Like, and I feel bad for people who were poor, poor, dude. And to this day, I do. And my mother, though, she's from a middle class family, dude. She, like, really feels bad for people that are, like, poor, poor. And I do, too, dude, because it's fucked up, man. It's some fucked up shit. But my point is, dude, is, like, when you look at, like, how shit was structured back then, like, these men that would go to war and women, men and women, women and men, when they'd go to fucking war, dude, like, World War One and World War fucking Two, dude, where, like, millions of people fucking died, dude. I'm just saying, man, leading up to, you know, the Korean War and, like, Vietnam and, like, you know, I mean, dude, like, this shit is just madness, man. So, my point is that coming from a military family, like, when I was growing up on military bases, we had friends from the Philippines, we had friends from all kinds of different countries, man, around the world and stuff like that, you know, a lot of international folks. And so, like, we were always very sensitive and very sympathetic toward folks that just didn't have much. And my mother, man, she actually, while she was in the Naval Reserves for 20-plus years, pretending that she was a storekeeper, which she was, but she was also a Naval uh, Crypto Communications person, um, TSSEI, top secret, um, compartment, secret compartmentalized information person, um, thing is dude is that she also kept a state government job simultaneously where she she held people who were in need like elders like who were being abused there was like elder abuse and shit going on people living in like people's closets and stuff people that are like you know handicapped and autistic and stuff and there was like people that like needed places to live so they'd be living with people that like were on subsidized like income and like low-income housing and stuff like that. My mother, man, she was involved in investigations where they'd go out to, like, properties and they would investigate where, like, someone is, like, a son or a nephew or a uncle or niece or nephew or daughter and was, like, writing checks on, like, a pensioner or, like, someone who's, like, a retiree and, like, taking cash and, like, credit cards and things like that, man, and they would do investigations and they, you know, those people would ultimately, like, be found out, right? So my point telling you all this shit, dude, is, like, my family was never fucking poor, dude. Like, you know, I mean, I I honestly, dude, like, I thank God, the universe, man, the real world matrix that we were never poor, like, some people were fucking poor, dude, and I, my heart goes out, dude, genuinely, like, I'm Republican conservative, dude. Socialism is a great idea on paper, dude, but it never works in the real world because you always have abusers at the top. They're the ones who want to take away everybody's weapons, everybody's defenses, and they want to pretend like that's what needs to happen and that everybody's in on it, including them, but that when it, and in, in in, in that's what should happen. But In their minds, the ends justify the means, which means to them that they're not for real and the whole shit's bogus. It's all artifice, dude. They have no intentions of giving up nuclear weapons. They have no intentions of giving up fucking death camps. They have no intentions of giving up fucking their military um, oligarchy, um, uh, autocracy, or whatever, dictatorship, or despotic rule. They have no fucking... They're megalomaniacs, dude. They're all oppressors, dude. They're all oppressive, repressive fucking regimes around the world. Pol Pot, all these fucking people, Stalin, uh, uh, Karl Marx, and Frederick Engels, and all these fucking guys, dude. All these motherfucking philosophers, dude, that like espoused all of this fucking insanity. Mao Zedong, and all these fucking people, dude, that are commies and communists and shit. And I'm not saying my mother was a communist, dude. Um, I I know of instances where she, like, voted for Obama, but then she was like, I was disappointed in Obama, and I was like, I told you to never vote for that piece of fucking shit from Mars, dude, he's a fucking terrorist, traitor, fucking infiltrator from another timeline, dimension, you fell for it, you were under a spell, I'm just saying, like, that's my opinion, and that's a reality, like, fuck him, 
and Hillary Clinton and ISIS and fucking Al Qaeda, Al Shabaab and you know Boko Haram and goddamn fucking the Palestinian Liberation Organization, fucking Hamas, dude. I mean, man, I have friends, dude. I grew up with with homies that were Jewish and Muslim. My homeboys, dude, that were Muslim, man. We used to fucking roll in street gangs, dude. My homeboys that were Jewish, man. And it was never this shit about Hamas and PLO and shit because that shit is extreme, dude. Like I've met people from Palestine who are hella cool, dude. They're hella cool. You know what I'm saying? And they'd be telling me some moderate shit like, yo, we just want peace on earth, man. But then you got people that are fucking part of terrorists fucking so. I mean the same thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like extremists can come from anywhere. They can come from Israel. They can come from Africa, the countries of Africa. Look at Charles Taylor. That dude's a fucking piece of garbage, dude. He wants to like impale people and eat their organs like a cannibal and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he thinks that like eating their organs and shit, like because he's in the Hague now. I mean, we should just vaporize his fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? But he's like, he thinks that it takes the power, like their soul and all this kind of stuff. And then you got these fucking sick pedophile deviant fucking child killer motherfuckers, dude. They think if they like rape children that are like albinos and shit. I'm saying and kill them and that they're like deriving their power and their energy sources and shit like that. I mean, dude, that's man, that's man, that's barbaric, man. It's barbaric and it's medieval and it's savage and it's savagery and it's barbarism and it's fucking sick and it's fucking deplorable, dude. It's it's unconscionable. It's it's execrable, dude. It's just so vile, dude. It's so low chakra, low to the earth, like primitive fucking medieval, dude. And then you have the goddamn fucking United Nations, these blue hats, dude. Oh, my God. You want to talk about the blue hats, dude? Let's talk about the blue hats. The United Nations is one of the biggest fraud fucking con operations in the history of humankind, okay? These people, man, they never do shit to quell any of what I just mentioned, ever. They pretend like they do, but they really fucking don't. There have been instances recently, dude, where on these, like, so-called peacekeeping missions and operations, it's been determined and found out, ascertained and surmised, inferred and deduced, discovered and unearthed that these so-called peacekeepers of the United Nations that they uh that they that they that they rape young women and abuse them sexually and molest them and all this kind of shit, right? And then it's like when you look into what's being done to stop that and prevent that from happening, all you hear, dude, all you fucking hear are these like bullshit bullshit lip service stories about how like, the UN's going to do a better job, okay? So, when people talk about, like, total information awareness, which um, Admiral Poindexter was talking about, and, like, total information awareness, like, the movie V, the remake, where it's, like, Earth, and you have this, like, advanced civilization of these advanced beings that come to Earth, whether they're reptilian or a combination of these other races or whatever, dude. But the point is, is, like... They control Earth at that point because they have the technology to, like, control shit. Dude, you have all of these sensors, all of these systems of detection and sensing and detection and, like, surveillance and counter-surveillance, right? It's like, so the United Nations is supposed to be supposedly kind of sort of like a world fucking police force, right? Man, let me tell you something, dude. Let me share something with you, dude. The United Nations is one of the snakiest, most vile, most reprehensible, most internecine, most detestable, most loathsome, most untoward, most base, scumbag, dirtbag organizations on planet Earth. If I had a magic wand and I could wave my magic wand, would I destroy the United Nations? Now you're probably like, come on, dude, you're a rational guy, bro. It's like, even you have talked about, like, nuclear weapons and shit, but you also say that they need to be eliminated from planet Earth, they need to be fucking deactivated, and they need to be fucking turned off, and, like, 
eradicated and eliminated and deactivated. But you're like, we need to keep like a handful of them in case we need to like blow up asteroids like Japan's been doing and like America's been working on. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. Do I think that the UN needs to be scrapped, dude? Hold on, I'm lighting up a blunt and I'm going to answer your question. Give me one moment. Do I think that the United Nations needs to be fucking destroyed as an organization? As a governing body. Hmm. That's a valid fucking question, dude. Because some of you are like, yeah, say yeah. Be like, yes, affirmative. And then others are like, dude, come on, dude. That's like fucked up, man. Like not everybody at the UN's fucking corrupt. Say no. Be like negative to that, Grove. Like, come on, dude. Be mature and grown up. And just be like, no, it shouldn't be destroyed. That's destructive. I also don't want to tell you that I'm on the fucking, I'm in the middle, dude. I'm on the fence about it. I don't want to say that either because that's not true. So I'm going to tell you straight up what my actual fucking feelings and thoughts are, which I always do. As you know. Um. I think that, like, let's look at the math. I think about 80% of the motherfuckers at the United Nations should be dismissed, dude. 80%. I'm talking about the, 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 the different rings of governance, dude. Because it's a fraud operation, dude. It really is. The concept overall, like, I understand, dude. I know the lead up, the precursor. The, like, first iterations of what it was before it was the UN. I know what it used to be, dude, and how it was all created. Because I had a friend who was, he used to use the law school to do his research. And I considered being a lawyer myself because I had teachers who told me that I could be a lawyer when I had wanted to originally be an architect. And they're like, you could be a lawyer. Like, you've been doing English, like, advanced English since you were, like, And by the way, when I was talking about P. Diddy, I caught myself, dude. I meant honorary degree, not honorable fucking PhD. I said it two times. I listened to the podcast. I was faded, dude, when I said that shit. I was drunk, dude. I meant honorary PhD, dude. I don't even have a call in line. No one calls in. So they're not like, they don't even email because I don't even have that shit. So it's not like they were like, hey, dude, errata, like you're tripping. Like you said honorable, like PhD. I meant honorary, dude. Okay. I studied English, dude, advanced shit when I was a fucking child. So, I've seen every word in the fucking English dictionary. I have a file. It's a PDF. It's like every fucking word in the English dictionary to date. And it changes and it's updated. So, I could have been a lawyer if I wanted to be. I could still go back to fucking school and become a lawyer if I wanted to be. I've had mentors tell me don't do it. It's a waste of time and fucking money. When I have billions of dollars, I still might do it. But then again, I might not. Because, dude, just having the knowledge in and of itself is good enough for me. I'm not going to fucking be a criminal defense attorney, dude. Corporate attorney. I mean, fuck. The only thing I'd probably use it for is international, like, counterterrorism law. I mean, that's it. But, I mean, I can also just read that shit and photographically imprint it in my mind and just memorize the shit. So, it's like, what's the fucking point? Like, if I'm going to know some shit... I'd rather know some shit like molecular electronics, electronics engineering, which I've already been in those programs, artificial neural networks. I mean, shit, that's relevant, dude. I mean, the law is the law, and it's also open to interpretation, man. It's subject to interpretation. So in one subjective mind, the United Nations, dude, look, there's infrastructure. There's a building. There are buildings. There are people. Are they all bad? Are they all good? No. Okay. Are they, is, does, would, like, if I could wave a magic wand, should I just be like, yeah, they're all destroyed? Nah, that's stupid. But should, like, eight out of ten of them fucking be dismissed? Yeah, dude, they should be. I'd say 80 fucking percent. 
Now, some people might be like, but my mom or dad works there. Or my auntie or my uncle. Or my, like, grandmother and grandfather. And there's so many important people. I don't give a fuck, dude. Somebody obviously doesn't give a fuck about young girls and children that are being sexually fucking abused and raped and murdered and tortured and dismembered by blue hats. Now, it's not a conspiracy theory what I'm rapping to you about. I've seen it in the fucking news media and I've read the scholarly journals about it and it's been triple multitudinously fucking over time like absolutely verified and confirmed. What's going to stop that? Well, they're the UN, dude, and they've been doing the fucking shit that they do for the longest time. And apparently, dude, there's safeguards and there's fail-safe, fail-safe mechanisms and all of the underpinnings and mechanisms. I'm just looking at it, man, on a, on a quantum entanglement level, dude. Okay, the fractals, the pixels, the data points, the link analyses, the hierarchy, the wireframe, the diagram, the matrix, the fucking the XYZ axis, the 2D 3D, 4D, 5D, the whole thing, man, in and out, back and forth. When I look at the United Nations, I had a fucking dude who I used to go to college with, and he was in an, uh, he was in a global affairs program. I used to peer edit his papers because there was a language barrier. He's from a country in Africa, and uh, I used to oh, I used to review his papers legally in a scholarly, academic, scholastic sense context of it all i used to look at his shit and he would be like so did i write it right and i'd be like no period you didn't period and so then he would ask for advice i can't write his fucking papers for him that would be dishonesty dude and it would be it would be wrong and improper in the sense of like academia so i couldn't fucking write his papers for him but dude i would oversee his research and his writings and his papers and his analyses and things of that nature, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So he had this one massive project, dude. It was like 140 some odd fucking pages, dude. Kind of like the Mueller witch hunt fucking fraud report that he fraudulently fucking concocted unconstitutionally in this illegal witch hunt that he was fucking um, the central figure in. Because that's not a real report, dude. That's fraud, Okay. It was unconstitutional. I don't give a fuck who authorized it, dude. In my view, whoever uh, whoever authorized it did so unconstitutionally, illegally. So the document itself is un-American. It's not a report, dude. It's some Nazi fucking wannabe shit, dude. And I'm not going to say it's some Nazi shit because then that would give them credit and be like, yeah, Nazis are doing what they want in America. They're not. We're not going to let them do that fucking shit. That's why my grandfather went to World War II and fought fucking Nazis. And just like Donald Trump said, America will never be a socialist country ever because the extreme form of socialism is Nazism, fascism, Nazi shit. So yeah, so check this out. The United Nations is fucking stupid, man. I've seen every organization that comprises the United Nations and I've seen every sub organization and what every one of those organizations does and sub-organizations does and do collectively, okay? And it's a massive body of information, dude. It's a tome of information. So in that canon of information, in that tome of information, in that compendium of information, in the index, however you want to fucking frame it, okay? The United Nations sucks fucking dick, and it's bullshit and it's lawless a lot of times mostly largely chiefly it's rogue it's fucking illegal dude they're involved in so many inter international fucking improprieties and scams and con job games and con ops con con convincing wannabe con fucking operations dude they're conning people they're lying and deceiving artifice subterfuge it's a fucking red herring Dude, fuck them, man. Fuck the United Nations. I don't give them any props, and I don't give them any credit. They can't even stop fucking terrorists, dude. Just because you kill some people in a drone strike, just because you pretend like, well, we can show you mathematically and scientifically that we have killed over 30,000 terrorists. Well, the terrorists are you. You're the ones that are allowing for 
young women and children and little boys and girls to be raped and murdered and abused and fucking dismembered and raped and raped and raped and killed and choked out and strangled and stabbed and fucking dismembered and sexually abused and raped and murdered and killed over and over again. And then you're like, yeah, we're going to do a better job in the future. Here, I'm going to do a better job for you. I'm going to wave my magic wand and 80% of you go to fucking prison forever in outer fucking piss, hell, darkness. That's the reality, dude, is they're not doing any fucking real serious thing to curb the tide of goddamn terrorism. You know why? Because they are Barack Obama. They are liars. They are fake ass punk fucking scoundrels. They are stooges. They are fuckery, dude. They're the embodiment of all that shit, dude. They're all mother... Dude, they're all fucking terrorists, dude. Eight out of ten of them. If you do the math... Like, how can you have a body that is an organization that is as large as the United Nations is and that shit still happens on this fucking planet, dude? Okay? They haven't... Dude, in terms of the prosecution of the individuals involved in those types of heinous crimes, man... Dude, they, they're they not serious, man. The United Nations isn't motherfucking serious, man. And I've studied law. I've, I've read Black's Law, dude. I've read the whole several thousand page going back fucking document from every fucking year going back to when it, to its inception, man. I read that shit, dude. I have PDFs, dude, that I've read over fucking eons, dude. And you know what, man? Those people, man, they don't give a fuck about human life. If they did, they would have people fucking murdered and killed and assassinated in their heads, chopped off at the fucking gallows and the chopping blocks. Man, do they ever say hey dude hey look here's the deal we're not even going to these countries anymore until all these people that were involved in this shit are fucking executed no i see singapore doing that shit i see the philippines doing that shit i see north korea doing that shit and saudi arabia is full of goddamn fucking shit oh you arrested and executed fucking what 37 27 some arbitrary fucking number nobody even knows if that shit's fucking real dude yeah who are terrorists your fucking crown prince is a goddamn fucking terrorist and until he's arrested and executed by your own fucking government you're not even fucking real about counter fucking terrorism you want to talk about counter terrorism dude i don't listen man i fund the cia and the fbi and Homeland Security, and TSA, and Coast Guard, and Army, and Navy, and Air Force, and Marines, and all of the motherfucking federal government agencies, because I'm an American, and I'm a taxpayer, and my little tiny fucking trinklets of fucking coins, whether I'm making billions or not even close to that, it doesn't matter, man. I fucking went along with the program when I was born, and you motherfuckers and admin, whoever you duly elected fuckboy so-called, so-called, so-called officials are, I could be an official too, dude, I could be an official too, no fucking problem, I don't have anything weird on my background, I could be the president of the United States if I really wanted to, man, absolutely, fucking lutely dude, I could make billions of dollars, dude, I could go to foreign countries, dude, I could set up networks overseas, I could do some Bill Gates shit, dude, some Elon Musk shit, man. I can go to man. I can man. I could start a business enterprise and become a multi-zillionaire, and then run for fucking president. And all these fucking peons and peasants, dude, who are these motherfuckers that pretend like they're gonna do some shit. I can outshine them too, just like, just like, just like, just like Donald Trump did when he was elected. I could do the same thing and be like, look, this little money that you got, this little money that you got, it ain't shit compared to what I got. And you're all fucking liars. You're all fucking liars. You're pretending like you're pious and you're holier than thou. You ain't shit. You all got fucking dirt on you, just like your fucking pr precious prized Hillary Clinton. You're all involved in fucking espionage. You're all involved in targeting the United States through your little sympathies and all this shit that you espouse and all the shit you're behind. You little sympathizers of ISIS and all this whole facade that you fucking erect in your whole affrontery because it's all in a front. 
Okay, they all hide behind this shit where they pretend like they're fucking doing shit that's in the best interest of the United States, man. Anybody can be the motherfucking president of the United States as long as they're not some rapist or some fucking arsonist and shit. I don't have shit on my fucking background like that. So listen to me, man. What I'm saying to you, dude, is these United Nations motherfuckers, dude. They could stop the shit that's going on. Just like the FBI, man. They could have stopped 9-11 from happening. They chose not to. So I'm going to wrap this up. Man, I have a friend, man. She was talking about Beyonce versus Park Bohm. I just heard Park Bohm's new shit, dude. The song, I think they told me it was called Spring in Korean, if I'm not mistaken. Man, Park Bohm, dude, is a... Dude, she's 10,000 times more fucking talented than Beyonce. When I hear Beyonce, all I hear from her is, oh, 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 you know the letter O in the alphabet? Oh, 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 I'm from Texas. Oh, 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 like, wow, that's actually fucking dope. Who is this? And they're like, oh, that's Beyonce. And I was like, oh, what a surprise. It's the song on the run part two with Jay-Z. And I was like, damn, that's actually pretty fucking dope. All the other shit that I've ever heard from her was fucking stupid. That's my opinion. It's like, oh, 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 the letter, oh, 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 Beyonce. And people are like, oh, my God, she's so talented. Oh, my God, oh, my God, Beyonce, she's so talented. And I'm like, really? All she says is oh, 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 over and over again, dude. It's fucking, that's all it is. Over and over again. Like her fucking songs. It's like, she's from Texas, supposedly. I don't know if she's actually from there or whatever the fucking story is. But every song that I hear, all I hear, it's like the South Park cartoon where it's like, motherfuckers think they're listening to some dope music. But when you really listen to it, it's just like, fart sounds and shit stain sounds when i hear her dude i don't hear anything that sounds dope dude and the fucking beats that she fucking sings to with her oh 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 the letter oh 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 because i'm so talented that's all i can do is just oh 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 the letter oh 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 over and over again oh 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 beyonce oh 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 that's all it is dude fucking seriously man dude and you guys call that talent and the niggas is like oh you know dude i went to school with hella chicks that look hella dope dude beyonce to me she just looked like a plain chick dude just like any of the other chicks that i grew up around man like i don't even i'm just being honest dude and i'd say that to anybody including jay-z man you know what i'm saying i'm just being real you want to talk about you want to critique people and you want to listen to their music and their style and their image and shit like i'm just being honest dude like, man, I went to school with chicks that are hella fucking fine, dude. And then when I first heard of Beyonce, I was like, um, what did be Beyonce? Like, Destiny's Child? And it was like, oh, 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 the letter O, Texas, oh, oh, over and over again. Oh, 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 the letter O, oh, oh, it's all oh, oh. And people are like, oh, my God, she's so dope. I got to do a song with her, dude. She's so hot. Like, she's so sexy. She's such a great performer. And I'm like, Beyonce Knowles? And they're like, yeah, dude, she's so talented. And I'm like, what songs are you talking about, dude? And they're like, well, you know, she's Beyonce, dude. She's fan. She, man, man, Grove, you're tripping, man. You're tripping. She's so dope. Like, dude, man. And then all these rappers want to, and, and listen, I'm just being honest. Like, to this day, I'm trying to figure out where the talent is. I'm just being honest, dude. I'm trying to figure out where the talent is, okay? When I heard Park Bum from south korea who did the song with g dragon and t.o.p on that rooftop dude in i believe it was seoul maybe some other city in korea it's called forever with you dude fucking come on man come on dude dude there is no fucking comparison man are you fucking out of your goddamn mother fucking psychotic mind dude and then i was listening to this track tonight and i was like who the fuck is this dude Shh. 
I don't even know if that if I heard the Hangul, the Korean correctly, because it was over some music and some ambience, man, and some drinks and some smoking shit. But I was like, who? And they were like, that's Park Bum. And I was like, yo, this is how I got introduced to K-pop. Are you it was it was Park Bum. That's the very first person that I ever heard in the world of K-pop was Park Bum, G Dragon, T.O.P. from YG Family. And this person who I know told me that she's not, and I don't know if this is accurate, but I'll just take her word for it. Like on the surface, I don't know as a grain of salt. She said that she's with a different company now and she's not with YG family. But keep in mind, when I first heard K-pop, dude, my very first intro to K-pop, dude, she was with YG family, at least on that track. When they did that song, man, Forever With You. I heard this shit flash forward to now. I said, is this new? Is this new? I don't know when the song came out. I, when she said it's new, I don't know how new it is. Man, I said, what I said, what did you say? And I had her say it like three times. In a Hong it sounded like she was saying the name of the song is something that has a reference to spring. <sighs> dude, that song where Park Bone, dude. When Park Man with a with a billion dollars in my account, man, if I had to choose between Beyonce Knowles and the oh 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 oh, oh, oh Texas over and over again, I'll just say oh 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 Oh, girl power. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Or Park Bum. Fucking come on, dude. Come on, man. Park Bum is a hundred thousand fucking times more talented, dude. Stop the. Man, come on, man. Man, come on, dude. Fucking give it up, dude. Come on, man.